Welcome to our 5-minute crash course on mutual funds. Today, we'll explore the world of mutual funds and how they can be a great investment option for many people. So let's dive right in. Background Music Host, what exactly is a mutual fund? Well, it's a pool of money collected from multiple investors to invest in various securities like stocks, bonds, or a combination of both. Think of it as a basket filled with different investment goodies. Host, the beauty of mutual funds lies in their diversification. By investing in a mutual fund, you gain exposure to a wide range of investments, spreading your risk across different assets. This diversification helps reduce the impact of any individual investment's performance on your overall portfolio. Host, now, there are different types of mutual funds available to cater to different investment goals and risk appetites. Let's take a look at a few common ones. Host, first, we have equity funds. These funds primarily invest in stocks and are suited for those seeking long-term growth. Equity funds can focus on specific sectors, regions, or have a broad-based approach. Host, next, we have bond funds. These funds invest in fixed income securities like government or corporate bonds. Bond funds generally provide income through regular interest payments and are considered less volatile than equity funds. Host, another popular type is balanced funds, also known as asset allocation funds. These funds strike a balance between stocks and bonds, aiming to provide both growth and income. They're suitable for investors looking for a mix of stability and potential returns. Post, moving on, there are index funds, which aim to replicate the performance of a specific market index, like the S&P 500. They offer broad market exposure at a lower cost compared to actively managed funds. Post, lastly, we have money market funds. These funds invest in short-term, low-risk securities like treasury bills and offer stability and liquidity. They're often used as a parking place for cash or as a temporary investment option. Host, now, let's talk about how mutual funds are managed. They're usually run by professional fund managers or management companies. These experts analyze market trends, research companies, and make investment decisions on behalf of the fund's investors. Host, to invest in a mutual fund, you'll need to purchase units or shares of the fund. The price of each unit is called the net asset value or NAV. NAV represents the fund's total assets divided by the number of units outstanding. Host, mutual funds can be bought directly from the fund company or through a broker. Many funds also offer systematic investment plans, SIPs, allowing investors to contribute a fixed amount regularly. Host, it's important to note that mutual funds come with risks. While diversification helps reduce risk, the value of investments can still fluctuate based on market conditions. Past performance is not indicative of future results, so it's crucial to do your own research and choose funds that align with your investment goals and risk tolerance. Host, and that's a wrap on our crash course. We've covered the basics of mutual funds, including their diversification benefits, types of funds, management, and how to invest. Remember to consult with a financial advisor for personalized guidance. Host, thank you for joining us, 
and we hope you now have a better understanding of mutual funds. Happy investing! End Note, this script is a general overview and doesn't cover all aspects of mutual funds. It's important to conduct thorough research and consult with a financial professional before making any investment decisions.